Hey everyone, welcome to Jira for Beginners training and in this video I'm going to cover how to delete issues within Jira. Now deleting an issue is only possible if as a user you are given permission to delete or move issues as well. In the previous video I have covered move issues. So same thing for move issues as well. Many times as an end user you won't be having permission to move issues or delete issues within Jira. I'm covering this just for your basic knowledge that you have the functionality within Jira and if you are a team lead or you are a scrum master you most probably would be having delete or move issues permission okay but not everyone in the team will have those permissions now in order to delete issue absolutely simple the same way that we did move issue in in terms of navigation for example i want to delete this ria3 which is the cloned task all right i'll simply go ahead and open the details and in the right hand side i see the ellipses there in the actions and if i click on the, that ellipses you will see that i got move here i got clone option here and i also have the delete option because i am the administrator of this particular instance so if you have permission to move or delete only then you will be having these options available here okay if you do not find any of the option not listed here do not get bothered why you are not able to see these options you know the answer that you might not be given all the permissions that are given to the other the team members for example they have the role of managing the team starting sprint stopping sprint they should have permission to delete issues etc then they'll get those permissions okay so if i click on delete you'll see that it is a permanent delete any comments attachment any of its data will get deleted and you cannot go ahead and recover this particular issue and that's why the delete permission is not very frequently available to the team members right it will be given to very limited people and same thing with the move issues as well right so if i am absolutely sure i want to delete this particular issue i can go ahead and click on delete and now you will see ria3 has been deleted it's not available anywhere and one thing to remember as well that the key that the issue was associated with which is ria3 if i go ahead and create a new issue the ria3 key won't be associated with any of the new issue it doesn't matter how many previous issues that you have deleted the new key will always be different from what was the associated key already okay for example till 6 i know i have created the issue the next issue if so for example i'll go ahead and create it should be after that not like because the issue that has been deleted now the key has released a key has been released so we should get associated or the new issue should get associated with that particular key that's not the case so let me quickly create and show you I'll create and you'll see that RIA 8 has been created right even though we deleted a task which was RIA 3 that key won't be used any further right so I think up to 7 the issues were created that's why the 8 has been created all right so this is basically how you are going to delete any of the issues so I can go to the backlog get to the issue detail directly from here or I can open the issue detail in a new tab or new window still I should be able to delete the issue in the absolutely similar way I can simply go ahead in the actions and click on delete all right so that's all for this video in the next one I'll cover more details about the Jira beginners or how as a beginner you are going to use Jira effectively in your organization thank you see you in the next one